Yeah, I mean all together. Oh, oh hey man, get on yeah. eBay or whatever and see what they're going for. That's a good deal. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I, we go to garage sales, rummage sales, yard sales, and we look for undervalued items to flip for a profit on online platforms like Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. Uh, just got to this sale, so let's see what we can find today. Yeah, 50 cents. Okay. I'm just saying here, there's some more work. All right, Over here in this bin, I do find some mini Lego figurines, also two hand puppets, these Folk Manus hand puppets. So we've done really well in the past with Folk Manus hand puppets. So one of these is new, one of them's used, but they're in really good condition. So I think I'm gonna try to pick up both of these. Nothing at this garage sale is priced, so you know, it just depends how much it is. So can I put this behind you? Oh, I'm sorry.
I want that for your mom. Yeah, like funny. a little witch I used or something. I those when I was a kid. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Over here by this bin, I do find this Tiger 2XL robot. Um, it's in really bad shape, but these sell for about $30 if they are working. Um, I open up the battery compartment just to check it out, and both of the batteries are still in there, and they're corroded. So it just wasn't in great shape, but if this was in good working condition, I probably would have picked it up. I don't know. I think it's probably just too shot. So the seller kept bringing out more and more bins out of the garage. So as we're here, he's like bringing more boxes out, putting them out. Um, a lot of this stuff was vintage, like toys. So a lot of like play school stuff, uh, Fisher Price. They had, um, you know, like some toys from McDonald's or Burger King. Also had like some Sesame Street items. So a lot of vintage toys here. I'm taking a look at this Sesame Street Alphabet Roadway, and some of the characters can sell by themselves for about $15 or so. I wasn't sure if all the pieces were there, all the letters, all the characters. So I was just looking to see like how much the individual pieces would sell for if that set isn't complete. These go with my Legos. I'm not selling these. They go with my whole Lego set. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. They shouldn't have been in there. I'm selling all my Legos. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks, man. Five bucks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. How much is your tub of Legos, I guess, then? It's 150. Okay. okay. I'll pass on that. There's thousands of pieces in there. Yeah. There you go, sir. All right. Here you All go. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean, all together. Oh, no. oh, hey, man. Get on yeah. eBay or whatever and see what they're going for. That's a good deal compared to everybody else because I priced it compared to everybody else. Well, do you know what kind of sets are in here? No, there's it's just for oh. so many just years. Like for, you know uh, what I yeah. mean? It's just okay. random. I mean, it's there's the books in there on some of them, but to, to sit there, you'd have to have a yeah. lot of free time on your hand. To... Right. So he wasn't selling anything individually out of this Lego set. It was all together for $150. Um, there was quite a few little mini figurines that he had in that Ziploc bag, which some of those little mini figurines can be worth a good amount of money. I don't know, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Do you think it was worth $150 for that tub of Legos that he had? And as we were headed out, like I said, he kept bringing out boxes. I do notice this activity set. It has like those stickers that, they're not like sticker stickers, but you can like put them on glass or put them on different things. You can peel them off and re-adhere them to things. Um, but he had like a Power Rangers one. He had a Little Mermaid one, a Precious Moments one. Um, didn't really see anything that I was interested in here, but he did have some board games and there was a Splat board game that I'm interested in picking up. Oh. So they can come off. Huh. So it's just like a scene. Uh, so I'm checking out this flat board game. I'm going to open it up. Just make sure all the pieces are in there. If you guys have an opportunity to do this when you're at garage sales, always open up board games or games that might have a lot of pieces. And just, if you have the time, go through it and make sure all the pieces are there. Because having a game that is complete will always command the most money. So I was lucky that the instruction manual was in here. So I'm looking through. It seems that it has all the pieces. It is missing one dice. Uh, that red dice that's in there, that's not supposed to be in there. It should have two regular dice. Um, but everything else is in there. And it's in really good condition. So I'm going to pick this up. For your board game, sir. Two bucks. All right. Two bucks a piece, unless they're okay. boots. Two bucks, unless okay. they're the boots. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, you ready, babe? 
So as we're leaving, we noticed this orange tote right here. So we started digging through it. It had a whole bunch of Halloween stuff in there. And we found like this, it's like a little pumpkin blow mold type thing. I think it was supposed to come with the light, but there is no light. But I'm gonna head back and pay the seller one more time. Soda. Yeah, it's for Y'all done? Yeah, yeah, of course. Watch for this. Dollar. Dollar. There you go, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you, yes, sir. You guys got a toy store or something? You just love toys. I like toys. Like toys. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Good, good luck. Good luck with yourself. Think about them Legos, man. Enjoy. What's up, babe? How weird is that? Oh, like a little otter. Yeah, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cute. So it's kind of crazy that I found those same otters on the same day. They weren't new, but they were $3 a piece. So it was a little bit too much for me to get into because we got the other two with all the other stuff for only $5. So we're going to pass on the otters. Okay, $3. Actually, right, so I just paid $15 a piece for them. You did? So it happened at uh, Vacation Bible School. Oh, gotcha. But I, as you see, I have stuff yeah. <laughs> to get rid of. No worries. Yes, ma'am. 